pipe drive email marketing tutorial hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with pipe drive so let's get into it now email marketing with pipe drive is very easy and it's something that a lot of the crm users underestimate because you think that oh this is a crm tool i won't be needing this for email marketing i'll use my own email marketing tool like mailchimp However, using Pipedrive for email marketing can be a great way to build upon your pre-existing leads and expand your business without having the hassle of going through another tool. And it's very simple as well. So to get started, simply log in to your Pipedrive account. If you don't have one already, it's a very simple registration process where you just enter your email address and then create a password. That's all you need to do. So you just enter your name enter a password and that is all you have to do so i'm just going to do that and i'll get back to you guys in a second so in your registration process once you enter your about information you're just going to continue with your company information so your company information let's say we are two to five people and we are working primarily in public administration or let's say it's in just an administrative and support and then I'll just click on create account over here and our pipe drive account will be created in a few simple and easy steps. So once this has been completed, you will be led to your pipe drive dashboard. Now in your pipe drive dashboard, you will see on the left, you have a panel. In this panel, you will have your leads, your deals, projects, campaigns, and then your sales inbox, which is basically your email marketing tool. And then you have your activities, contacts, and more. Now the first and most important thing to do is to go into contacts and set up your own contacts. I will be using the pre-existing sample data and you can remove the sample data by clicking on over here and then doing some bulk editing. Now to get started with email marketing, the first thing I like to do is I actually do like to go into my contact section. Then I like to go into the people or organizations, depending on how you want to be sending your emails out. Let's say I want to send out an email to all the people that I know. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the top section over here where I have all of these selected. Then at the bottom, you have bulk editing features. So email, and then you will have the email field. So you're going to click on edit current value, and then you can edit the emails. You can edit, you know, their level of subscription to your email marketing as well. So you can choose to edit that as well. You can add them into your new email marketing leads. Now, after that, we are going to go into our campaign section. Now, once you go into your campaign section, you have a few different features which can allow you into expanding your leads and increasing your performance. You can click on get started for free over here and you will see that you have a free trial that you have. You have a 13 day free trial and you're just going to continue on over here to get started with email marketing and your email marketing campaigns. So from here, you can just click on get started and start crafting your own emails. Now you will see on your left, you have email campaigns, automated email campaigns, and then email templates. Now, email templates are where you end up spending most of your time, which are the sections where you actually build your email. And then you can automate your campaigns and build your campaigns accordingly. So you can just click on email campaign over here and then get started with building a new campaign. Now, this includes sending your to and from and then your security subject and the content and sending time. However, if you take a look at automated email campaigns, these are just email campaigns that you have scheduled with a certain time. And you can click on create campaign and it's going to look like pretty much the same thing and you are just going to be leaving it to be sent at a later point in time now let's get started with building our first email and then we are going to build an automation accordingly so we're going to click on template over here and i can choose any template i want they have a few different templates that you can choose and pick out from depending on the type of email that you are sending so if I want to send a discount email, I'll use this one where I have, you know, a bright little layout. And if I want something a bit more professional, I can go with a letter email. So I'm going to go with a simple letter email and I'm just going to click on select layout. And let's say I just want to send out an, a company email to all the people that we have. So 
let's say we are going to edit the name on the top and then we once we click on the top section over here you have information about the content on the right so this is a logo i'm just going to delete this and then i can drop my own content block over here as well so i can click on content and then i'll just drop this this is a title block and this will be from Durden. and then i can choose the title style i want as well so if i want this to be h1 h2 or h3 i'll keep it at h1 and I can choose the font style and the weight of the font as well, as well as the color. So I'll go with the black color and the link color, the alignment, I'll align it and the line height. So I'll just expand that a bit as well. And then I'll increase the letter spacing. And then you have the rows option and some other settings as well. So content area width, how large your content is going to be. For the entire email, I'm going to make this smaller. And the background color, I want to give my email a light pink color. And once I've done that, I can just insert my email content, whatever it might be. Hi, we at Durden are looking for your feedback on our business. Like this, you know, whatever your content is. You can add different types of content. You have lists that you can insert. You have dividers, videos, images, buttons, all of that that you can insert. Once you have chosen that, just click on save and close on the top right, and this will save your email template. You can come back to it later to further customize your emails as well. Now, once you have done that, you want to click on automated email campaigns. And then once you click on automated email campaigns, we are going to build the email campaign using this particular template. Now you can click on use automation template, and it will show you some of the pre-existing automation template so these are different templates that are you know standard and you can use these templates to help you in you know getting all of your automations set up however if i want to build my own customized ones i can do that as well and you can integrate other tools in this as well so let's say i want to optimize my work engage with leads focus on deals like that but i'm just going to build my own automation so we're going to go back into our automated email campaign builder and then i'll just click on create campaign from scratch and then we're just going to click on campaign add a sender and then this is going to be jane from durden and then the sender email like this and then you can continue on over here after that you have your security and you're just going to Select from your templates, I'll save and close with my own template over here. And then I have the engagement so I can choose whether or not which contacts receive this. Then you can build this as mark as ready so it can be linked to an automation. And then once you have input your basic content you can link this to any automation however you want so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video